Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Former Chrysler knows best star Todd Chrysler has been not enjoying his time in jail since he entered the facility four months ago. His wife, Julie Chrysler, is also locked up in another state. She will be released in about six years but Todd is doing around a dozen years for fraud-related crimes. The couple declared their innocence and filed an appeal to overturn their conviction. The process is long and their family members have been suffering since they went to prison. Now it looks like Todd is accepting the reality of the situation and he's not dealing with it well. Daily Mail has the details. The days are long and the years are long, Insiders close to the Chrisley crew, who I'm sure isn't his daughter Lindsay Chrisley, say Todd is riding the struggle bus hard behind bars. Apparently, he's overwhelmed with feelings of guilt because greed got in the way of being a good person. The source said, he, Todd, is not a happy camper on the inside like he was on the outside. This tracks because jail isn't supposed to be fun like a summer picnic. They added, 12 years is a very, very long time, and it already feels like a lifetime to him. Todd is starting to feel hopeless. He is aware that his greed caused all of this. It's too bad this jolt of self-awareness didn't hit before he decided to plead not guilty. Also, Todd has deglammed while living at his new spot. Once known as the Patriarch of Perfection, who spent $300,000 a year on collarless shirts, now he has let himself go. Also, what the hell did you expect? Jail Botox? He is not able to get skin treatments and his hair is no longer dyed blonde. He is looking worse for wear, the source continued. Jen Shaw would never. As for Julie, she isn't doing great either. She is broken down. She is not doing well at all, and she cannot fathom how she will spend years being locked up and feels that she let her family down. The price of consequence is clearly higher than the $36 million they allegedly grifted. 